Hi, oh, g'day, welcome to Farming Live Australia. Today we're going to talk about what we can do with these. They're old soft drink bottles. The correct name from is PET bottles, P-E-T. I don't know what that stands for, but I'm sure someone will tell me. These are just the standard old one that drinks come in. All sorts of drinks, you know, everything from Coca-Cola to orange juice. I know in some countries in the world they're called pop bottles. In other parts of the world they're called soda bottles. We used to call the stuff that came in them fizzy drink. I guess it just depends on where you come from, but the bottles are the same everywhere. The thing I really like about reusing these bottles is the fact that they're laying around everywhere and they are supposed to break down eventually but if we can help them break down sooner and use them I reckon that's a benefit to everybody. Okay let's get on to it. Here I've just got a standard old soda water bottle and I'm going to show you how I make string out of it or a flat filament. This is the cutter that I use and in my last video which was called other uses for utility knife blades I'll show you how I made that cutter. You can see it's just a piece of aluminium angle with a slot cut in it and a utility knife blade to do the cutting. To prepare the bottle to go in the cutter, I cut a bit of a slot with a knife and then get the scissors and cut the bottom off the bottle. Then I get the scissors and cut the first little bit of a lead in so that I can put it in the cutter and cut it successfully. I then feed the end of the piece of filament into the cutting machine and then I start doing the cut. You wind up with a bottom and a top like this and I sort of wonder what I could make out of those. Maybe a funnel. This is the filament and the reason that ends a bit curly is because it's where I cut it off the neck. This is the filament I got off one bottle. The filament measures 7 millimetres wide and it measures 4 metres long. Here I've got a bit of 10 mil rod in the vise and I'm going to show you my first little trick. I did show this the other day in my movie about utility knife blades but I'll just do it again in case people don't watch that video. I'm just going to clip the end of the piece of filament onto the rod with a spring clip and then wind the filament carefully around the piece of steel rod. When I've got the desired length I'll stop and use a heat gun to apply heat to that piece of filament. Once you've heated up the plastic with the heat gun, it then retains the memory of wherever you set the plastic with the heat gun. So it wants to retain that shape all the time, not the shape it was before you did it. So you can pretty well mould it into any shape that's possible and it will stay in that shape. This has heaps of uses. Here I've used it just to hold the string together so it doesn't all unwind. Ready for later. You can use it on computer cables. It's a really good way in your home office or any office in fact to organise all the cables and get them to stay together so they don't spread all over the place. I've got a couple of offcuts off my bandsaw and I'm going to tie them together with the filament I made out of the bottles and just show you how effective that can be as a, as a useful string. So 
So there's nothing real special. I haven't tried hard to try and make it tight. It's just wrapped around it in a crisscross fashion. I've now got to fasten the end somehow. All I did was just tucked the end under the existing lashing that I put there. It probably would have been better to leave a bit of extra length at the start and tie a knot where I finished, but this did do a neat, neat job. Again, I used the heat gun to shrink the plastic, and you'll see it shrinks quite a bit, and it gets very, very tight when you do this. Once I heat shrunk the string that I made, it made the string very tight and it also made the whole job very, very strong. I've seen quite a few YouTube videos where they make bundles of firewood and they talk about the cost of the wrap that they use and the bags they use and all that. And I think this would be a much better alternative. You could still put it in one of those firewood bundlers. That wouldn't be a problem. But instead of using plastic wrap that they have to buy and pay for, they could just go and collect these bottles wherever they can get them and do an effective job without having to use wrap that they've got to buy or bags that they've got to buy. So I just wrapped the plastic around the firewood and then tied a knot on the end. I think I used a reef knot. The knots don't tie very well and hold very well until you heat shrink them and then they shrink together and you can't break them apart for all the tea in China. I've repeated the process again. Now I'll heat shrink that up and it should make it really nice and tight. Once you heat shrink the knot, there's no way it can come undone. It doesn't only shrink the knot, it actually hardens the plastic as well. Here is my finished bundle of firewood. It's tied together very well. It's not loose at all, it's very, very tight. Here I've cut two rings out of a bottle. And they're about an inch wide and they're just cut across the bottle. And here I've got a couple of scraps of wood out of my scrap bin. And I'm going to see whether we can fasten them together with it. still a bit warm but now that it's shrunk it's really strong hooked together using the plastic to do things like this could be quite handy in craft projects etc as soon as it's Christmas time, I thought we'd make an idea for Christmas. But you can do you can do this any time of year. This is a way to make those bubble packs that you get things in that annoy the living hell out of you. This bloke likes bits and pieces, so I'm going to put all the bits and pieces for him in there. Obviously, you don't want to put chocolates or something that's going to melt in this, because we're going to apply heat to it in a minute. 
Just what everyone would love to get for Christmas. A heap of bits and pieces. Now we've got this package up present. Turn this off straight. We'll just set the knot. And there we have our present. My craft skills aren't up to much, but you get the idea. This is my fro. And you'll see around here, it's getting a big split in the handle. I've cut a piece off a bottle, pretty roughly. It's about an inch wide. Cut the excess off here, where the end is. I'm going to shrink this bottle over it just to make sure. By now you've probably figured out that the things you can do with soda water bottles, soda bottles or pop bottles, is just about unlimited. Really only limited by yours and everybody else's imagination. When I took my Christmas bubble wrap creation in, Pat said, oh, did you buy that at the shop? I said, no, I made it. He said, oh, it looked like you bought it at the shop. So it filled her. I don't know where she thought I went to a shop. If you look on the internet, there's a lot of other things you can make with soda bottles. Brooms are pretty common, all sorts of craft ideas, it's just unlimited. I had a bit of a go at a crafting as you can see. That brings to an end this edition of Farming Live Australia. See you next time.